Oh, hello everyone, welcome back to another Welcome from the Corner here, it's about 10.30 at night um, Here on the 13th, I believe it is Here is Saturday the 13th 2019 here for Data Entry um, Here for Data Entry uh, I think it's 7, no, 9.75 No, I believe it's 9.74 I misnumbered them last night, so if you guys can't tell, I'm a little tired because I was up at like 5.30 this morning. Because um, I had to be at work at 6.30. So yeah, today was... Um, so yeah, today was... Um, it was a, well, that's not a little work day. We were trying to finish some stuff today. And, uh, um, you know, it's it was... You know, it's just one of those days where, you know, you just get into work, do your job, and... You try to do your best. Everything like that. Sorry that I don't have a little bit more energy, guys. But it's just it's late at night. And... And everything's like that. So, yeah. So, um... I... So yeah, I came in today, did my usual stuff, and um, um, and just tried to get on with the day. So we kind of had some stuff to do. Um, I had to do some leftover push for Frozen, and I had to do that before April got in. And actually, yes, she did get in today. Um, she's a, she's better now. Um, she's a little bit sore here and there, but. Uh, not enough to keep her out of work another day. Her migraine uh, that she had earlier was um, was gone. Uh, she was in fine fighting form today, and it was good because we good because we needed that. Uh, I kind of figured she'd come back and she'd come back swinging. So um, we had a bunch of special projects to do, and you know. Um, I think majority of the day we went through a lot of the place. We went through a lot of the stuff in CNS like dairy and dr dairy and produce and everything, and we were finding a lot of stuff. And you know we're um, Um, to be honest, um, the day was actually, uh, semi-successful and everything, so, um, so we got through a bunch of stuff, and we were going through the sections, and, um, going through all the sections and we're trying to go through all the places and trying to find code dates and all this other stuff. Um, we're starting to talk about what we can change and what needs to be modified around the section. Um, we had some pretty in-depth conversations, but we got our work done. Um, there's some, there's some procedure changes that just need to be done. And to be honest, the only procedure change we need to do is just to go back to the old procedure where we just need to go in check the dates push the stuff rotate and just be mindful of what's happening and be a little bit more vigilant and everything and watch what we're doing instead of i mean going fast and being i mean going fast is great but you but you're not accurate and as much as the guys that I'm pushing with are saying, oh, you gotta check dates and blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't think they're being thorough enough and, um, and I don't think the rest of the team is being thorough. Um, and we had some very, not heated, um, but we had some very in-depth discussions that we need that this needs to be done, that needs to be done. 
and how things can go forward. But um, I don't mean to be pessimistic and everything, but there's a lot to fix. And um, there's not a whole lot of time to, there's not a whole lot we can do with, it's not that we don't have time or anything. Um, like some people say, it's just that we don't have the personnel to help us out. And that's a great shame because our section was so much better a couple months ago. But the problem is, um, you know, politically things are kind of kind of stupid. And we can't get what we want. We can't what we we can't get what we want out of the section, and that's not doing us a very good job. Uh, I'm sorry for these pauses and, and the lack of wording here because I am tired. I should be going to bed after this vlog. I mean, I'm going to watch Dragon the Dragon Ball Super episode, and then um, I'm probably going to go to bed because I need to. Um, Because presently, um, you know, it's it's one of those things. You know, you fight for this for a long time. And she and I, and, and April and I even agree that it's not like it was. Um, it's not as serious as it was. There's a lack of motivation. Um, and um, they're trying to try to go the streamline route and what i mean by that is just make it easier for people to do things and make it less stressful even though that's not easy to do because corporate america is cutthroat and it is and it's super stressful because our jobs will get knocked down if if things fail out so um you know and it's you know and this is just I was telling her that um, as we were pulling things off the shelf and everything, and I said, you know, let's 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 see what we can go. Let's see how screwed up this is. And she and I were pulling things off left and right off the shelves today. And and I said, well, I was doing this yesterday or the day before um, on Thursday. And I told her that all this that we're seeing right now, it's just so breaking. And to be honest, it's, I held back a lot of my words uh, while I was on the floor because I didn't want to upset the situation as it was because I think it was down to the point. And then eventually, um, then eventually tiredness kind of took over. And I ran into a wall, and I had to stop. And uh, she kind of, she said she needed to take a break and a drink of water. And I said, yeah, that'd be great because I'm at because I'm at my wit's end for for today and for this and for this week. Tomorrow I'm gonna come in refreshed and re and ready to go again because, um, you know, this is. This is not how I envisioned it, and this is kind of the trap that corporate America puts you in because they want you to believe that things are going to get better. Yet I can, yet she and I agree, April and I agree that this is only scratching the surface, and you can fix it on, you can fix so much of it, but so much of it is already screwed up. I mean, um, but yeah, I, uh, I don't know if I, um, I don't know how much energy she has left to go and motivation she had. I mean, she's motivated to do it, but I don't know if she has the, but I don't know in terms of energy wise and the energy I have energy wise is 
is going to be enough to keep on going because I can tell she's going to burn out and I'm probably going to do the same if I'm not, if I'm not careful. Um, since I'm the one setting the pace, um, it's most likely that I have to keep things in control. But I think as we start talking, I think more and more of my abilities kind of get revealed here and there. And, and, um, I think it's ever looking closer that I need to, that I need to jump ship. And I'm pretty sure she's, and I'm pretty sure she's going to jump ship at some point because I honestly, uh, told, told her that, um, you know, you know, this job is great and all, and, you know, this job really provides a lot, but, you know, I, I don't think it's really worth it to burn out again in this field because, um, we, I've seen a uh, number of our leaders do the same thing after a number of years in our store and some really good people that some really good people I don't know have burnt out or either couldn't take take it because of all the baloney that's going on because I'm just gonna say this um, we're only human and we can only take so much obviously and I'm speaking about limits and I'm pushing my my energy limits right now it is warm and hot right now. I mean, I don't have the AC on, but I've been sitting in front of a fan, fan for the last couple of hours. Um, it's almost 11 o'clock. Um, but um, I just... I, I asked her conservatively. I asked her very specifically how much more of this, how many more burnouts can you take before you're going to have to realize that this is not going to be healthy for you and or really develop mentally um sound because um her procedure and her techniques are great i think she's i think she's i think she's an amazing human being she's almost superhuman on some levels but um uh it's i think she can take her talents elsewhere if she if she figured that if if she, if and when she gets to that level so i'm thinking next couple i'm i i told her i said well i'm not talking about in two three months i'm talking about maybe six seven months maybe maybe a year from now because her brain's a little different than mine and her education level is a little different she's smart but the problem is is i have a bachelor's degree and it's unfair that she doesn't have that education level and I do and that's what's killing her and she's the, and she's the smartest person I know emotionally she's getting better um so um so she's coming back strong uh, even after being out of work for one day and it's a first call in ever so I told her don't worry about it it's it's your first call out in ever um she's a little worried because she's been late a couple of times and it's because her um sister is borrowing her car and um mom, mom or one of her other family members has to drive her to work and that sucks because she has to stay out of the car and that's gonna come to a head if if anything happens to that car she can't do anything so at this point it's kind of tough to say who how long she's going to um be in their picture and she can only come up with so many excuses so and so many things to go on so i it's kind of a tough uh tough to say but to be honest but even through all of this, she's staying strong. So I got to give her that. Um, uh, I'm just going to say maybe the hardship will help her out. Maybe she'll figure out how to just live on her own. Now, do I think it's helpful that she's helping out the sister um, until the sister finds money for a car? Um, 
which happened about a month ago, which her cra the, the sister crashed a car about a month ago. Um, I think it's helpful, but it's not helpful to her because that's five, ten minutes she loses to be out on the floor and help us out. But I think her pace, though, is overshadowing that. So if she can compensate uh, the certain way, she'll be fine. Um, I don't think she should be looking at this negatively. She's got a lot of abilities, and I just wish we could harness that and a bunch of other people, and we'd be great. Um, but yeah, I'm going to bid this one to do, guys, because my vocal cords are probably going to be shot again, um, and I'm starting to get a little on the wonky side. So I'm going to watch the Dragon Ball Super episode, sit down in front of the, um, sit down in front of the TV, watch the Dragon Ball Super episode, then probably 11.30, 11.40, I'm going to go upstairs, hit the hay, and get ready for tomorrow, because it is nasty condition-wise. So yeah, guys, I'm going to see you guys later, and... As usual, everybody, long live America, good bless America, long live America, long live this great nation, long live our freedoms and our rights. Um, amen to my grandparents' spirits, amen to both of them, thank you very much. Pray for Tom, Megan, and April um, and their successes. Michael Mo here for another vlog from the Vlog Corner here. Um, here on July twenty, July 13th, 2019, here for day on Um Peace out, everybody, and I got to charge my phone. Peace out, everybody. I'll see you guys in the next vlog when I get home tomorrow. Thank you.